guys, Mel here with Abstract Fitness. So if you are brand new to this channel, well, you know what, welcome. You're gonna find plenty of different videos. So from yoga, yoga core, Pilates, HIIT, bootcamp, TRX, and I'm gonna as well divide the workout in different categories like arms, glutes, your derriere, <laughs> and then abs workout. But I also specialize with older adults, so seniors. So you're gonna see me teaching uh, chair yoga and fitness for them as well. So I want you to subscribe, click on the bell right here. And let's get started. We're gonna focus right on your outer thigh today. So we're gonna start right here standing, okay? So I want you to bring your shoulders down and back. Bring it as tight into your spine. You can support yourself if you need it. And then I want you to point to the side. That's your option one. Option two, you're just gonna lift your leg up to the side. So again, lay off the chest for me. And I want you to notice where you're gonna feel the work. Okay, it's not gonna be necessarily in this step. Now, another thing I want you to, to do, point your toes towards your nose, or point your toes towards your shin. There we go. And that way we have a little bit of a stretch right on the calf, we are tight. Okay, are we starting to feel the burn somewhere? Stay nice and tall. There we go, inhale. Exhale to lift, that's it. And again, for four, I'm going straight side. Three, and two, are you ready? We're gonna stay right here, little pauses for four, three, and two, that's it. And slowly release, and we can move the hips or wiggle. We have two legs, so let's push it up. Shoulders down and back, inhale. I feel the bum here in my mat. Inhale and exhale to lift. So again, flex your foot. Inhale, exhale to lift. That's it. Good. Again, lay off the chest for me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Beautiful. Again, for eight, seven. Feel the burn right in the opposite hip. Do you know why? Your entire body is right here on this hip. So it's a lot of work for your hip. And we need that work, guys. Stability of your pelvis. One more. And then let's go for pulses right here in four, in three, in two. That's it. And release and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm going to go back to the leg lift, but this time I'm going to go more in diagonal. So if I go in diagonal, what's going to happen? I'm going to work in my outer thigh, iso here, isometrically right here, but I'm going to work in my gluteus medius as well. So I want you to lift the leg in diagonal. So nice and tall. Again, don't be afraid to support yourself using something. A few fingers, because I want you to practice your balance at the same time. And then we're gonna go round the floor after the other leg. Come on, for six. That's it. In five. How many? Four. That's it. In three. And two. Good. Can we do little pauses again? Little, little, feel the burn. Again, I told you we need that. And eventually, trust me, you're gonna be more tolerant to the lactic acid. Wiggle, wiggle. And we're gonna switch the legs. Same thing, shoulders down and back. Inhale, exhale, let's go in diagonal. Exhale, that's it. So I prefer, guys, you go nice and slow, nice and controlled. If your abs are not if your abs are not in, what I'm gonna see is arching the back. So I want you to stay nice and tall. You're not moving anything else in your hips, okay? And again, for four, that's it. And three, good, and two. And last one, good. And release, wiggle, wiggle. Then let's go right here on your all fours. Okay, so open the fingers and start fish and press on your fingers. That's gonna help as well releasing tension. Shoulders are in, abs are tight. If you're arching your back, I know right away your abs are not in, okay? Ready? Lift the leg to the side. Inhale, exhale, fire hydrant, and up, good. So now, if I get too high, I'm gonna rotate my entire back. I don't want that. Lift. And just feel that you're keeping your form. That's it. Are you ready? Little pauses. Let's go for four. And three. And two. Good. And release. I feel it. Let's touch your legs. Engage your shoulders and your core. Inhale. Exhale to lift. 
inhale, exhale to lift. That's it. Good. And again for six, and five, four, and three, and two, and little pauses. Let's go. Four, three, two. Good. And slowly release. And we can wiggle. <laughs> We're going to stay right here. If you want to do fist, go ahead. My Even my wrists are getting sore. So engage your shoulders and core. I want you to go side, side, and across. And come back. And side. And back and across. That's it. And move. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So if this one is still too hard for your hips, maybe your body is not ready, just go back to the fire hydrant, the one we just did. There we go. And four. Woo. How you feeling? Again, do you feel the burn in the opposite hip? Think about your weight. It's holding right on that hip. That's it. One more. Good. And release. Aye. <laughs> and let's switch it up. Get your shoulders, your core. Let's go. Straight side, back, and across. So just play with it. Notice the difference. Usually, we have one hip weaker than the other one. So this is my weaker hip. Just notice it. Maybe for some reason it's going to be very hard to go straight to the side. That's okay. You don't have to go there today. It's going to come. That's it. Good. And again for four. And three. Are you still breathing? And two. That's it. One more. And slowly release. <laughs> okay, I have one more exercise before we go right on our side on the mat. We're gonna do something very similar. Option one, you go back right here to the fire hydrant. Number two, option two, you're gonna extend your leg. I'm gonna go more in diagonal and you're gonna lift the leg. Okay? Option three is right here. It's hard for my hips. I can start here, but I won't be able to finish it, so I'm going to need to go back to an angle, okay? So do what you can. You have three options. So inhale, engage your shoulders and core. Exhale to lift. See, I'm going already in angle. There we go. So what we are working, guys, it's your lotus medius and medius. I never seen, except kickboxing or kickboxers, people doing kickboxing. <laughs> <laughs> so they are, I think, the only one who are strong in their hips, seriously. There we go. And can we do pulses? Flex your foot in four, in three, and two. Oh, I feel the bird. Good, and slowly release. Ooh. See, we don't need to do many. We have two legs, okay? Let's go back. Shoulders, abs, choose your option. Inhale, exhale to lift. Try to keep your arm Straight, so be strong here. You're gonna work in your tricep isometrically because you have strong arms. Come on, that's it. So if it's getting too hard, you can go on your forearms. That's okay as well. Ho ho! And let's go for six, five, four, and three, and two. <laughs> now we're gonna do pulses. Let's go. Four, three, ay, 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 two, good, and slowly release. <laughs> now, let's go right on your side. Right here. We're going to take a little break. Let's do the clamp. You're going to bring your knees right here. You can rest your head right here as well. Or here, option two, option three, right here as well. And you're going to bring your ribs off the mat. I'm going to stay right here. So abs are tight, shoulders are down and back. Keep your feet together. You're just gonna open your knees. That's it, inhale, 
exhale. Some of you don't need your hand if you are very stable. If you don't need your hand, you can bring it right on your hip or your, your thigh. There we go. Another option, if you want to lift your feet off the floor, go for it. Good. And again, six. Keep your abs tight. Five. In four. Beautiful. Three. And two. Good. That's fun. Good. And release. And you can massage your hip right there. We're going to stretch your legs right here. I'm going to rest my head right down on the floor. Let's do uh, the leg lift to the side. So I want you to contract your glutes slightly. Abs are tight. If you're looking at your feet, you should not see them because your hip are going to hide your, um, your feet. Okay. So again, we're going to bring the leg up and then down. Don't lift it up too high. If not, you're going to bend at your hips. So contract your glutes, shoulder away from your ear. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale up. Good, that's it. Again, if you don't need that hand, you can bring it up. Good, are we starting to feel? Now, where do you feel the work? Do you feel it in the hip we're not working? Or are you feeling it in the hip we are working? Do you know why? We are working against gravity, okay? So lifting the leg up towards gravity. This leg doesn't do anything. There we go. Are we feeling it now? Let's do little pulses. Flex your foot. There we go. As a tight, try not moving anything else. And you hip in four, in three, in two. That's it. And release. And you can massage your hip. Let's turn around. Same thing. We're going to start with the club. So bend your knees. And you can be right here. Abs are tight. Shoulders down, away from your ears. And you're going to exhale to open, inhale down, exhale to open, inhale to lower. Again, this option is available for you if you want to bring your feet off the mat. Good. If you don't need your hand as a tripod, put it right on your hip. Good. That's it. And again, for six, that's almost your rest. Five. <laughs> in four. So feel the work again in your hip. We're working the glutes. There we go. Two more. And last one. That's it. And release. Lengthen your legs. And again, I'm going to rest my head right down on my arm. Look at your feet. Make sure you don't see them. Abs are tight. Contract slightly your glutes. Ready? Inhale up. Exhale down. And again, inhale up. Exhale down. So I'm using my hand right here in front of my chest. If you don't need it because you are stable, bring it right here. Now, some of my people, they are so tight in their hips, they are just laying down the mat and they have pain in their hips. If it's your case, well, tell me in the video here below. If you do have that problem, let me know. I can help you. Okay. You have tension in your hip. We just need to release it. Good. Are we ready for doing some pauses? Flex your foot. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, and two, and two, and slowly release and massage your hip. I like if we can do one more exercise, and at the same time, we're going to work your abs. So we're going to work your transverse abdominis, which is the most important we need to work on. So you don't see it. It's not the six pack. Okay. So imagine I'm going to punch in your stomach. What are you going to do? You're going to bring your abs in. This is it. That's the one we need to focus on. So I want you to bring your abs into your spine. You're going to feel your lower back in contact with the mat. Bring your arms by your side, feet together, knees and feet. Okay. Shoulders, back of your shoulders in contact with the mat. We're going to inhale, exhale. Let's open slowly your knees. Inhale to close, exhale to open. So it's a stability exercise and we are still working right in your hips, glutes area. Inhale, exhale. So because we are still contracting right here, you're going to need to use your breath and expand your ribs. Inhale, expand your ribs, exhale. Inhale to expand your ribs, exhale. So forget the belly breath. 
good. And again for four and three. And two. E O. <laughs> voila. And slowly release. There we go, guys. That was it. How long did it take? Seriously, 10 minutes? So that's nothing. So try to do this workout at least once a week. You're gonna see changes in your outer thigh and you're gonna be more stable as well. Balance is gonna be better. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.